Hi, Shane here. You're watching Sam for God. And this is Mark. Check her out. So hi guys, how are you doing? Last week I was in Sweden, in Stockholm, and I went to the ABBA Museum, which is some place that I've been wanting to go since it opened last May. Honestly, as soon as I found out that there was going to be an ABBA Museum back in May of last year, I was like, I want to go there, I need to go to Stockholm just to go to that museum. And finally I got to go, and it was awesome. I had an incredible time there, and I bought a few things, as anybody would when they go to a museum, especially if they're obsessed, kind of, with the band, or the place, or the whatever. <laughs> so I thought I'd do a little haul. Because, I don't know, maybe people might be interested, maybe not. If you don't like ABBA, then please just ignore this video, I'm sorry. Normal theatre related videos are going to come back soon, and also Disney stuff. But I just thought I'd make this, because before I went, I was looking online and trying to figure out what kind of stuff they sell in the shop, but I couldn't really find out much, and I thought maybe this could help any other people who might be wanting to visit the ABBA Museum in Stockholm, and they can kind of plan and see what they want to spend there before they go, maybe. I don't know. So anyway, I didn't buy much, because... I mean, I did buy quite a few things, but not a lot, not as much as I would have wanted to, I suppose, because I could have easily spent more if I wanted to, but most of the items, as they are normally in any souvenir shop, were quite expensive, and when you go to a souvenir shop like that, you normally have to stop yourself and make sure you don't overspend, so... Yeah, I think in general I found that most things, even normal stuff like food and regular stuff like, I don't know, supermarket stuff that you'd buy, I found them to be a bit more expensive in Stockholm than they are in London, which surprised me a bit, because everybody always says that, like, London's really expensive, but... I don't know, if you think London's expensive, go to Stockholm, because... Wow. I mean, just to eat food every day, we had to like look through so many restaurants to find somewhere that was affordable and still decent at the same time. But anyway, that's a whole different story. Let's get to all the stuff that I bought from um, the ABBA Museum. This is the bag, firstly, the plastic bag that we give you. This is ABBA Museum on it and also Swedish Music Hall of Fame, which was another part of the museum. In this little bag, I've got some magnets. Now, these are all the magnets that I got. Um, I'm going to show you one by one. This is a Gimme Gimme More um, magnet. It's an ABBA song, if you didn't know. And this is like the picture used for the single when it first came out. Gimme, give gimme, give gimme, give gimme, give gimme, give gimme, yeah man, I can't sing. But yeah, I really don't know how well you can see it. Hopefully you can see it quite well, but if not, I'm sorry. The next magnet was the one that I was going to get because I love this song so much. And that's One of Us. And again, this is a cover from One of Us, a single, when it first came out. Again, One of Us is one of Abba's um, music songs, music uh, singles that they brought out. It's one of my absolute favourites. I've made a piano cover of it. You can go and watch that if you want. And I don't know, I just really love it. I think it's an incredible song. And so when I saw it, I was like, I'm going to get this. So yeah, this is what this looks like. And, you know, they're square and nice and I like it. The next one is a Voulez-vous slash Angel Eyes uh, magnet. Again, I love both of these songs. I think they're great, both of them. Not two of my absolute favourites, but I still love them and I think they're really fun. So yeah, again, the cover for it is on this magnet. Now I just realised something incredibly stupid. So please forgive me, but when I showed you the other magnet before the Voulez-vous one and I said that it was the One of Us magnet, it wasn't. It was the Super Trooper magnet. So I'll show it to you again. This <laughs> is the Super Trooper magnet. I didn't look at it when I picked it up, sorry. But yeah, Super Trooper is actually one of my other absolute favourite ABBA songs, so... I think Super Trooper might actually be my top three favourite ABBA songs of all time, so... I actually probably prefer this to One of Us, but both Super Trooper and One of Us are two of my favourite ABBA songs, and so... This is the Super Trooper one, which I got, but I also got a One of Us one, which I'm going to show you now. Why am I so stupid? Yeah, this is the One of Us, um, uh, magnet, uh, which has the cover of One of Us, the single. And, like I said before, I love the song, it's a gorgeous song, it's very meaningful and just very beautiful in my opinion, so yeah. And now for the very last magnet, uh, it's this one, which is just a simple voulez -vous, um magnet thing that I just thought was cool. And I'm probably going to give this away to somebody, uh, and maybe one of the other magnets as well, because it's like kind of like as gifts or souvenirs and stuff to people, whatever. Um, I haven't decided which ones I'm going to give away yet, but I'm definitely keeping the Super True Friend one of us ones, because I love them. Right, so we're done with the magnets. Um, the next thing that I bought was this keyring, keychain thing. Um, it's a platform boot because ABBA were very well known for their platform boots. And it says ABBA the museum on it, which I thought was a nice little souvenir, like a reminder of the museum that I went. Not many of the stuff that they sold in the shops actually said ABBA the museum on them, which was kind of disappointing because, I don't know, I, when I go to a museum, I like to go buy things that has the name of the place on them just so I can remember where I got them from. Um, so when I saw this, I thought it was pretty perfect, really. So yeah. Uh, that's the platform boot thing uh, that I got. Then we get to a slightly bigger ABBA bag, which is this thing. Again, it has the same logo on it, ABBA the Museum. Uh, I don't know how well you can see it, but yeah, it looks like there should be a lot of stuff in there, but there isn't. I'll show you the stuff that I have. Literally, when I saw this, I was like, yes, I'm definitely getting this, and it's this. It's an ABBA World playing card deck. 
I've mentioned in some videos before, but I used to collect cards and I kind of have started doing it again now. And so when I saw this, I was like, this is kind of perfect because it's just cool. I like cards. I don't know why. It's, it's not like a gamble or anything. I just, I just like them. So yeah, and as you can see here, uh, it was 45 Swedish crowns, which is about four and a half pounds. Yeah, four, four pounds fifty, maybe five pounds actually, something like that anyway. So you know, quite expensive, but yeah, I, li I like it. So yeah, that's that. Um, I mean, I would show you all the cards in there, but it's too much effort, and I don't want to open it yet. And the final thing, yes, you heard me. The very last thing that I got from the Abba Museum, like I told you, I didn't overspend, um, is this thing, which I'm going to show you now. It's look, it's meant to be like a memory card game thing. At least that's what I think anyway. I haven't opened it yet as you can tell so I may be completely wrong but it looks like a memory card game and again I love that game. I used to play it since I was a child. I just love it even on my phone now. I have this memory game that I constantly play and yeah I just thought it would be cool because it has different pictures of ABBA and you know it's kind of like a nice memory again of ABBA and also it says ABBA the museum here. Again a nice little momentum of the museum. And also you can see here these are some of the pictures that are on some of the cards, I believe. So like, there's an accordion, Benny's accordion, I believe, and some of the outfits that Abba used to wear. I really hope you can see these guys. I'm not sure if you can, but yeah. So yeah, I'm gonna open this later and maybe play it with friends or family members, I don't know. But yeah, that's pretty much it. One really nice thing that happened though, while I was paying for all this uh, in the checkout area, I noticed some like balloons, some Abba the Museum balloons, which were kind of made for the one year anniversary of the museum. And I asked the lady at the counter, like, if there was any way to get those balloons, and she was just like, yeah, I can go and get you some for free. And I was like, thanks, that's just really nice. That just goes and shows that sometimes you have to ask to get things that you want, because obviously if I hadn't asked that, she would never have guessed I wanted those balloons or was interested in them, but I asked her and then she just went and bought them for me. So that was very kind of her, so thank you to that lady. Obviously, I don't know her name, I'm sorry. I, I probably should have looked at her name, but yeah, she was really nice, thanks. And yeah, these are the balloons. That I got. I don't even know why I asked for them. I think, I mean, I don't know what I'm going to do with these balloons, but they're cool. I mean, it's, I'm having, okay, maybe I should blow one of them. Yeah, I will do in a second. But before I do, I'll just show them to you like this. Uh, it's got pictures of the cats that are very, very famous. If anybody, anybody who knows Abba knows that these cats are pretty famous. And uh, Agnetha and Frida actually had outfits with these cats uh, on them that they wore in some of their like shows and stuff. But it says Abba the Museum on it as well. It's very tiny, so I'm not sure how they can see it. But yeah, I'm going to try and yeah blow one of them up and see what it looks like. This is ridiculous. Right, I'm not going to blow them up anymore, but you can kind of tell now. You can see the cats and Abba the museum on them. I, yeah, I hope you can see it anyway. So yeah, that's cool. Like I said, I don't know what I'm going to do with these balloons, but I have them, so, you know, what the hell. Well, I'm going to let this go now. Brilliant. But yeah guys, that's all I have for you today. Um, if you're thinking of going to Stockholm, definitely go because it's a beautiful city. I really enjoyed my five day stay there and of course whilst you're there you should definitely go and visit the Abba Museum because it was so much fun, honestly. I've never had so much fun in a museum before because normally when you think of museums you think like boring paintings and drawings and just old stuff but Abba, I mean, they're fun. So yeah, I also made a vlog of my time there at the Abba Museum so you can check that out if you want. I'm going to put the link below. But as always guys, thank you so much for watching and I'll see you next time. Bye!